This video may or may not be for you, but it's something I think somebody might need to hear. Let's go. Hey guys, Mr. Bet on you back at you, or Pedro Dorda Santiago, whatever you want to call me. In today's video, we're going to take a little bit of a stroll. I'm not going to be too long-winded. It's not going to be a long video. You might be able to get something from it. So this video is just a quick reminder for all the new people that have come to the channel, and even the OGs that have been rocking with me since day one. We talk about betting on you, setting goals, doing it one day at a time, using the gig apps as a stepping stone. I know. I say it a thousand times. I'm super repetitive on purpose because I mean it. And some people need to hear it. So today I'm gonna to ask you guys one question and I'm gonna give you an opinion on something. You know I can't help myself. I need you guys to stop. I need you guys to stop doing DoorDash or really any app if you're just doing it to do it. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have an end, if you're not working towards something and using these apps, you're going to fail. It's a hard reality for some of you guys. Some of you guys aren't gonna agree with that. Because everybody's, you know, some people might say, I just want to do what I, you know, what I want to do. I'm, I'm happy making this amount of money. I'm happy just whatever. We all have our personal reasons. But if you're somebody that's trying to do more, make more, maybe get out of debt, maybe pay for something. You're trying to continue to provide for your family. You're trying, whatever, for whatever reason you're using the gig apps. If you're just turning the apps on, if you're turning DoorDash on and just being happy with making your hundred bucks a day, but you've got no motivation to do anything past that you're gonna fail you're going to fail it might not be now it could be six months from now a year from now two years from now you're gonna get something's gonna happen the apps are gonna be so oversaturated you're gonna get deactivated you're gonna get bored with it you're gonna your car's gonna be run down you can't have money to repair it if you don't have something you're working towards with doordash or these apps you're going to fail and i need you to stop right now and think about what am i what am i doing here should i do a w2 should i have a job that gives me some kind of benefits and things like that. Because this kind of work is not for everybody. Not everybody's built to do this. I, I, I try to give you guys tips, trips, tips, tricks, my experience with doing it, how to, how to work the app, how to make money, all that good stuff. I've done that. I've done it a million times. I've done it more than anybody on YouTube within this space. But we've got to think past that. We've come to the point now where, all right, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been doing this? Are you happy? Are you making money? Are you reaching your goals? Are you just doing the same thing every day and not really sure where you're going? What is your end game? What is your exit strategy? If you don't have an exit strategy, I need you to stop right now. I know I said that already, but I mean it. If you haven't thought about what you're gonna be doing next after the gig apps, and you feel like you're just gonna do them forever, you're going to fail. A lot of people aren't gonna like that. But it's the, it's the truth. Less than 1% of you guys can do this forever. And then this is all you're going to do. Less than 1%. So you got to tell yourself, are you part of that 1% that's going to do this forever? Or do you have goals and aspirations to do something else? It's up to you. Most people that work these apps, DoorDash specifically, do it part-time, less than four hours a week. Where do you fit in with that? I think doing this part-time is great if you've got some other stream of income, right? If you got something else you're working on. If you're doing it full time and you don't have anywhere you're going, it's going to be a struggle for you. Some of us have to realize we're working in a space that we are extremely disposable. Like a lot of jobs that pay this kind of money. We're disposable. We are disposable. We can't rely on these big companies in the gig economy to do much for us. You got to figure it out for you. And you can use it as a stepping stone and make some decent money. But what is your exit strategy? Since the beginning of this channel, I've shared with many of you guys my goals and what I wanted to do. And you know, I thought about having this delivery company in St. Louis and that hasn't panned out how I thought and I've had to adapt things and that's okay. Sometimes you're gonna fail at things, sometimes you need to readjust and that's fine, right? For me, I have a goal this year of working the apps every two, three months, a little bit less each month. So that by the end of the year, I'm working them very part-time while working on other things that are important to me. I share my ambitions and dreams and what will happen in hopes that you guys could maybe share yours in the comments below i'll continue to make youtube content i enjoy it i get money off i make decent passive income off of it because i have old videos i still have the two vending machines might get a third or fourth one we'll see i'll do consulting on the side coaching on the side and i have a new podcast that's going to come out i have things i want to accomplish but if i do gig apps forever and then just say, yeah, I can make this amount of money. I could do, I could do them probably for a while. But then 
I'm not working towards something. I need to build something that has more longevity and something that I'm passionate about. What is that for you? This isn't about DoorDash being bad or good. We've talked about that. It's all personal to your experience, I think. It's just about thinking past it because DoorDash is gonna be around for a while, but it's not intended for you to be doing it for a long time. So for the 1,000th time on this channel, what are you working towards? Drop a comment down below. Y'all thought I was done, I know. Tomorrow's live. Go check the community post out. I got a, four options for you guys. Pick your vote, whichever's best. That's what the topic and what the live stream will be tomorrow. We go live every Sunday, for those of you that are new. 10 Eastern, 9 Central. We go two, three hours, we have a great time. If you wanna be part of this community, you need to be out that, on that show. We're also gonna be testing out the StreamYard app. So I'll be able to bring people in, share links, uh, put banners up. I'm gonna test it out, I'm really excited about it. And another reminder for those of you that don't know yet, Hannibal is hungry, dear friend of mine. We have a podcast dropping June 8th. We're gonna give you guys some teasers of what that will look like, okay? But go check out Pedro and Hannibal, the Pedro and Hannibal podcast. If you type that in into YouTube, you'll find it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I feel really, we feel very excited to bring you guys different kind of content, not gig related, talking about a range of topics and being real and transparent and open and entertaining for you guys. Be on the lookout for that. It'll be podcast form, but it'll be on YouTube as well. You guys are fantastic. I love each and every one of you. I want to challenge you guys today in this video to think about what we talked about today. Bet on you, Seckles, one day at a time. I live and breathe it every single day. Do you?